So today's batteries can't scale fast enough. Uh, they're just too small. Um, for Giga, Giga Nevada, um, 150 gigawatt hours per year is like what we probably expect to, to make out of there. But this is really pretty small in the grand scheme of things. That's only 0.15 terawatt hours. To make the best cars in the world, we design vehicles and factories from the ground up. Next. Yeah. And now we do this for batteries as well. Yeah. We have a plan to have the cost per kilowatt hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we need to go beyond just um, what we're looking at us in front of us and, and study the full, the full spectrum of options. So as you can see, we, we kind of swept the key figures of merit, how much we can reduce the cost and how much vehicle range increases as we change the outer diameter of the cell. We found a sweet spot somewhere around 46 meters, uh, millimeters. But it's not just about a bigger form factor. Like anybody could make a bigger form factor. Any fool, any fool could make a bigger form factor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we not any fool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there are problems uh, as you make cells larger. In fact, supercharging and thermals in general become really challenging as you make bigger cells. And this was the challenge that our team uh, set our sights on to overcome. And we did. We came up with this tabless architecture that maybe you've heard about um, that, that basically removes the thermal problem from the equation and allows us to go to the absolute lowest cost form factor um, and the simplest manufacturing process. And this is what, this is what we mean when we, when we talk about tabless. It's kind of a beautiful thing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what these t-shirts mean, but it's very esoteric. It's like nobody could figure it out, but yeah. Um, we basically took the existing foils, laser patterned them, and enabled dozens of connections into the active material through this shingled spiral you can see. With simpler manufacturing, fewer parts, 50, 50 millimeter versus 250 millimeter electrical path length, uh, which is how we get all the thermal benefits. Yeah, this is important to appreciate. Like basically the, 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 the distance that that electron has to travel, you know, it's, it's just much less. Um, so. Uh, you actually have a shorter path length in a large tabless, a large tabless cell than you have in the smaller cell with tabs. So this is a big deal. So even though the, the cell is bigger, it actually has uh, more power. Uh, the power to weight ratio is actually better than the smaller cell with, with, with tabs. Um, that's, uh, just to so elaborate on that a bit, it's like when the cell is, is going, going through the, the, the system, the system it, it has to keep stopping where all the tabs are. Yes. So you can't do... A you can't do continuous motion uh, uh, production uh, if you have tabs. You have to keep stopping. And, and then there's a rate at which you can start and stop and accelerate again. And, and it really slows down the, the rate of production. And then sometimes you get the tabs wrong. Um, and you also get, lose a little bit of, of, of active area. It's, it's, it's really a huge pain in the ass to have tabs um, yes. from a production standpoint. Yes. Um, and so when we put it all together and go to our new 80 millimeter length, 4680 we call this uh, new cell design, we get five times the energy with six times the power and enable 16% range increase, just form factor alone. Uh, yeah, so we're, 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 these, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah, and I want to stress, this is not just a concept or a rendering. We are starting to ramp up manufacturing of these cells at our pilot 10 gigawatt hour production facility just around the corner. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's a video of uh, some of what's going on in the plant. Um, now, I mean, to, to be clear, it will take about a year to reach the 10 gigawatt hour capacity. Uh, so. Uh, this is important to appreciate. Like when you build a factory, there's a certain capacity that you design to, and then uh, it takes some period of time to actually achieve that capacity. So, I would say it's probably about a year before we get to the 10 gigawatt hour annualized rate uh, with the uh, with the pilot plant. And this is just a pilot plant. Uh, the, the the actual production plants will be more on the order of uh, you know maybe 200 gigawatt hours, maybe more over time. Let's stack up everything we just saw at the cell level. So just the cell form factor change enables a 14% dollar per kilowatt hour reduction, just that cell form factor change. The key to 
a high performing assembly line is accomplishing processes while in motion, continuous motion, uh, and thinking of the line as a highway, max velocity down the highway, no start yeah. and stop, no city driving. Exactly, no st stop lights and traffic lights or anything. You want the highway. I want the highway. Yeah. And together with our internal design team that makes this equipment and designs this equipment, we coupled thinking about how to make the best cell with thinking about how to make the best equipment so that we could accomplish the fastest parts per minute rates on all of these tools. Um, and through all of that development, we were able to get to the point where we can uh, implement assembly lines, one line, 20 gigawatt hours, seven times increase in output per line. And when you're thinking about scalability mm -hmm. and pure effort, having one line be seven X the capability is just effort multiplying. Yeah. When you summarize all of that, it's a 66% reduction in CapEx investment, a 76 reduction in process cost, and zero wastewater. Much more scalable solution. Yeah. Um. And in addition to the improvements we just said on enabling additional range and improving the structural performance of the vehicle, it is worth another 7% dollar per kilowatt hour reduction at the battery pack level, bringing our total reductions now to 56% dollars per kilowatt hour. Yeah. All right, so stacking it up, we're not just talking about uh, cost or range. We've got to look at all the facets. So range increase, we're unlocking up to 54% increase in range for our vehicles and energy density for our energy products. 56% uh, reduction in dollars per kilowatt hour at the battery pack level and a 69% reduction in investment per gigawatt hour, which is the true enabler when we talk back about how do we achieve this scale problem here. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, so um, I think it's pretty nice that investment per kilowatt per gigawatt hour reduction is 69%. I mean, who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> Just happened to happen <laughs> out that way. Yeah.